Hello everyone, Christian here with Pipe Doctor Home Services. Today we are looking at this 40 gallon electric interthermal water heater. Um, obviously the call is they don't have any hot water. <coughs> Customers said that they had uh, someone that does work for them look at it. They did something to it. It worked for a bit, now it doesn't. I'm assuming maybe the safety on the thermostat's tripped. Uh, that's my assumption anyways. I haven't looked at it in the breaker box at all or checked if things, things got power or anything yet. Um, I've just grabbed some of my stuff and opened this little door. It's just, a customer's not even here. They're in another state, they said. Um, <clears throat> as far as how this thing looks goes, I don't know if it needs an expansion tank, but it doesn't even have, it doesn't look like it even has a shut off. It's got these, but um, maybe those are for the washing machine that isn't there. I'm assuming this is my cold water at the bottom coming in from here. This looks great, by the way. Um, cold water coming in and then going back out for some reason. I don't understand why. And then tees off, goes into that. Someone's got some blue tape on it. So yeah, maybe that is the cold line. I have no idea. Um, and then maybe these are just shutoffs for very Lucy. Um, for like the, before the valves over there, but they don't have a shut off on this thing. Like anywhere for me to touch anyways okay that's weird odd hopefully there's not one below the house it's gonna suck because this thing is up off the ground this house um anyways so this looks crazy i'm gonna <clears throat> take these panels off and i'll look in that breaker panel right there see if that breaker's off see if i see anything in here and uh, then we'll go from there okay so took the panels off um, <clears throat> that thermostat, both of them are set for like 140 degrees. Neither are running. Um, I don't have power to either of my elements. So I'm going to shut the power off and check the elements as well. But right now it looks like at least what we'll probably need is, um, <sighs> two new thermostats, lower and upper thermostat. I don't think I've got ones exactly like this though, which kind of sucks, but like I said, customer's not here. They're not living here currently. It's not super emergency, need hot water now. It's, um, they just need to get it fixed. So I'm gonna shut the uh, power off and then we'll check the elements as well. Okay, so check the upper element. This one, nothing, no resistance. That one, what was it, like 16, I think? Seventeen, sixteen. Okay. So I'll see what I got on the van. At the very minimum, they need a new upper element and two new and a new upper and lower thermostat. I'll see if I've got these thermostats. I don't think I do. <clears throat> I think I've got slightly different ones, but we'll see. Um, uh, but I think the serial number. If I'm right, I think it's the first two numbers of the year, which would be 2000. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna want to, I'll, I'll talk to them. Like I said, it's not an emergency. So I'll say we can either replace both thermostats and that element. Um, if they're gonna do it, I'd probably just do since I'm gonna have to drain the water heater anyways, make sure there's you know not gonna be any issues. Just do both elements and both <clears throat> thermostats. I'm gonna need to shut the water off to the house. I'd also want to put in a shut off. Um, like I said, I'm assuming. I think this one's probably the water coming in. Um, because usually you know the hot water you'd want that to be at the top. Oh, actually, you know what? I just noticed. Yeah, look labeled right there, hot. So it didn't even read it, but I got it right. Cool. 
So this would be our cold coming in. So I probably put at least want to put a shut off here. Either do all that or try and kind of tidy this up a bit and just replace the water heater. But we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. Let me look and see if I've got any of this stuff anyways. Ooh. Okay, so I've got the I've got two elements. I've got some thermostats on the seat of that, uh, the passenger seat there. Um, I've got the parts to fix it. Um, but right now, I was talking to the customer, you know, water heaters, I think 20, 24 years old. Like I said, I think if it's those first two digits in that serial number, two O's, so 2000, so 20, 20, 24, so 24 years old, um, they can spend, you know, chunk of change on, like I said, I want, I'd want to, since I'm replacing three out of the four parts anyways, I told her, um, even though that element checks out good, I'd say, why not just replace all four and get them all brand new? But you also are missing a shutoff for the water heater. I've got no way of turning this thing off. I'm going to have to, you know, find where the water for the house shuts off at to do this. So I told her. She does have me do repairs and I do have to shut off the meter, bare minimum. I want to do both elements and both thermostats and put in a shut off down there. Okay. Or, you know, she just pays for water heater. And then when I shut off the water, you get a brand new water heater, a uh, new warranty on the water heater. Uh, this is nothing. Leave me alone. New warranty on the water heater, year on labor for the water heater, and then, you know, you get a shut off valve and I'll try and tidy up the piping a little bit. Um, we'll see if I can't get anything that maybe some little straps or something to screw this down to the wall to at least hold it a little bit. You know, just like one or two or three straps maybe. Um, just to kind of tidy it up a bit, but we'll see. We'll see. She said she um, she's gonna talk to her fiance really quick and uh, I'm just waiting for her to call me back before I do anything else. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what she does. Okay, so right now I'm kind of just packing stuff up. I, I've been trying to call her for like 30 minutes now. Um, she just finally sent me a message back saying she's on a call and she'll call me back in a bit. Um, hopefully she calls me back soon, otherwise I'm going to have to charge her <laughs> for more labor. Um because she's having me sit here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's weird that these ones, there's no, this older one, there's like no insulation here or anything. And there was no cover, like protective cover or anything like that, which is crazy. Because you've got a metal panel. Oh, so that This metal panel here, like sitting right, right in front of all this stuff. You think they'd have there might supposed to be a little cover maybe for the element and the like one of those little square plastic ones for the element and then one of the normal ones that you get in like uh, the packs when you buy the thermostats but nothing there when I got here um, so I'm just gonna put the panels back on and I'll leave the power off and we'll see what she wants to do but like I said earlier I want to put a shut off right here a place for repair, replace both the elements of both the thermostats, um, or, you know, if she wants to not have to have a 24 year old water heater and, you know, get a new one warranty and all that stuff, you just replace it. Um, and she doesn't have to pay it all at once. We do financing. Um, I think she can get like six months financing, interest free financing. Uh, but I'm just, oh, door's closing. Um, but I'm just waiting. So I'll get these panels back on and we'll see what she says. But I'm gonna have to pack stuff up because if she doesn't answer or call back in like another 20 minutes, I'm probably just gonna leave. <clears throat> um, so this might be it for this one. We'll see. Um, if you guys like the video, please give it a like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.